Gold Trader Training, Measuring Trading Performance 5. Bring it all together, your trading performance measurement plan. We hope you've enjoyed and worked through the last four videos. We thought we'd give you just an overview of where you can take this to the next level, as well as reinforcing some of the key concepts that we've talked about in the previous videos. So to help you along your way, we've created a advanced trading performance measurement process. So we'll start at the bottom, just review the need for macro measurement, which would include your account balance and trend, i.e. where it is now and the direction it's traveling, what your key numbers are, so the breakdown of how your overall numbers are created and trading standards. So having a list of key principles on which your trading is based and whether you're adhering to this or not. For example, if you have a trading stand that says you're going to set a stop loss to protect capital on every trade, are you actually doing that? Then we move to our micro management. We look at our journal keeping, which looks at the key dollar and behavioral variables, including single trade details and totals, as we covered before. We do some analysis on that. And of course, we can start to look at how we assess markets too, and perhaps develop measurements around that so we can make decisions on an advanced level on things like how we position size according to market conditions. Our third step, once we've got the basics in place, is what we're terming developmental measurement. And this is things like measuring your knowledge. So doing a knowledge health check, a system health check, and of course, how we're using our trading time, looking for ways in which we can improve and increase efficiency and effectiveness in the time we're allocating to trading as you would with any business. So I hope that's useful in terms of giving you a roadmap for how you should develop your trading performance, but focus for now on the content covered in those first four videos to make sure you've got all of those things in place. This will put you in an incredibly strong place, not only now in terms of knowing where you are, but also in moving forward as a trader to meet your desired investment outcomes.